Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're looking at great summer suit options. So when it comes to a summer suit um, or some know them as tropical suits there are a few things you need to be aware of. The material themselves that can range from uh, cotton uh, to uh, linen suits and uh, some have silk in them, very fine mohair but they are essentially very thin material and the idea is that they're a little bit more breathable than your normal heavier weighted suits. They're also generally unstructured. In other words, they are just material. There's no extra uh, material added in. For example, there's no canvas in them. Um, and if there is any additional uh, detail in it, it's generally in the yoke part, across the back of the shoulders and across the front part of the chest, which is generally just an overlap of additional material. Uh, as you can see, the little bit of padding in the shoulder but extremely lightweight. Um, the idea is to allow the material to allow a little bit of air in, a little bit of air flow and to cool the body down. Now traditionally with this type of suit they tend to be a little bit more generous in the cut. For example they're not so uh, tapered. The idea is to allow air into the suit to allow air to circulate on the inside as well. As well as on the trousers, uh, they're a little bit more baggier. Modern twist on that is that you get more tailored looks now and skinny looks, which is fine because it is the aesthetics of uh, the outfit, whereas traditionally it was more about function and about making the best for the person wearing the suit so that they had more circulation, more air uh, to cool them down through the day. Um, so, without further ado, let's talk about Mr. Beige. When it comes to wearing um, a summer suit, generally, the, as we said, they're in fawns, uh, taupe, a very light coloured uh, material and in this case it is more like a, this is a cotton based suit and therefore it's very much like chinos uh, style material. The trouble is if you don't have contrast it becomes very washed out and uh, if you can imagine if you're wearing something like this colour on your feet as well you become Mr. Beige, basically. Uh, creams uh, don't go well, especially if you're picking up fawns in the tie itself. So to get a better result from this summer suit look, you're better off going with some form of more detailed contrast, deeper contrast. And because the suit is light, I would suggest you go with darker, colours and patterns in either the shirt or the tie which also includes the pocket square as well. This is uh, still not a bad look but it, it just doesn't have that pop with it and what we're talking about today is just introducing that little bit more to just wearing a beige suit. So in this case all we've done is change the tie for something that's a bit more contrasting and uh, change the colour of the pocket square and already you've got a sudden significant change in the look and if you're going to wear something with a darker coloured footwear straight away you're getting some uh, change in the way that you appear you're no longer uh, so much Mr Beige and you're moving towards a little bit more sartorialism in your approach. Um, so this is what we're going to talk about today. 
making that contrast, making that change and lifting up the overall overall effect of wearing a neutral colour if you like. So one of the ways we can avoid being Mr uh, Beige is to introduce a little bit of colour. Um, uh, so for example in this case we're using a striped uh, Bengal striped uh, shirt, navy stripe with a maroon or um, burgundy tie with a white fleck in it, a white spot, polka dot, and the same's picked up in the pocket square. And that just lifts it a little bit more. So if we're introducing some sort of contrasting colours to the beige material, it gives it a little bit more life. And the same goes with the footwear. So for example, we could wear um, burgundy shoes, um, brown shoes, we could use uh, light tan shoes or suede shoes as an example, but we need a little bit more colour than the material itself. So if it comes to brogues, um, brogues can be a little bit too officious if you like, even if they're maroon or brown. So if it's a business look you're looking for, that's great. But what I tend to do is I try and introduce an Italian style brogue uh, into, into the actual outfit. It gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more unusualness. The cut of the shoe is completely different to a normal uh, British brogue. And uh, light, lightly different coloured laces as well gives it a lift as well. So that's one option. Uh, if you want to go a little bit more still looking at the formal route then we have a brown brown brogue personally with this sort of outfit I tend to go for something like this um, light tan brogue mainly because it just is lighter summer feel to it but equally it would go well with uh, for example a suede a shoe of some description I'm demonstrating these ones here but uh, it's the more the color it contrasts with this or a dark brown possibly a chocolate brown uh, shoe in suede would go just as well so don't be afraid of introducing a little bit of color into the actual footwear as well and depending on the severity or the importance of the occasion depends on whether you go for something uh, that is more formal to something more informal so this is one option we'll show you another one uh, introducing a stripe tie so a stripe tie, uh, tie brings in uh, a different dimension. You've got a little bit more uh, uh, eye candy, if you like. You've got stripes in here, different colours as well. You can pick that up in the pocket square as well. But again, it's adding a pop of colour to what is essentially a blank canvas. And uh, I think it's quite a good look. It uh, harks back to almost like the colonial days. Not that they exist anymore, but uh, you know, you could wear this with a nice pair of shoes, um, and it would go well, even for a, a summer wedding or uh, some other sort of business occasion, uh, semi-formal occasion. So there are other colours that we could use. I'm using a white shirt here mainly because it's just a blank canvas to demonstrate the difference in the contrast of the tie and the pocket square. So what about changing that for a blue tie? So here we've changed it for a lighter blue striped tie and we've changed the pocket square to a more in line with the colour of the tie. Um, it still gives it detail because you've got darker blues in there along with the lighter coloured blues so it gives it some sort of contrast to the actual jacket itself um, 
which is still a, a nice refreshing look and obviously with a pair of uh, tanned brogues or a pair of suede shoes you still get a very good look with this but what happens when we change the tie and make a darker use a darker tie so with a darker blue tie this has got a slightly pink color to it as well um, which we can pick up in the pocket square there's a some blues there and some reds which is in the pink color range and again this is a little bit more darker more contrasting to the blank canvas the uh, basic beige suit and it gives it more detail again and again it goes well and affords to more casual looks to the more formal look if you're going to something more official so what happens now if we change that what about citrus colors um, because they're quite nice in the summer and it's a different way of considering uh, what colors to use so what happens if we introduce some yellow for example to this type of outfit so when it comes to adding uh, lighter colors really uh, you need to be a little bit careful if it goes too close to a beige um, so for very pale yellows you won't have the same dramatic effect that you would with something that's more deeper golden colors uh, almost to the point of orange in the tie or in fact the pocket square so you still need to create that detail and the interest and the contrast through the tie as well as the pocket square and this is still um, a good look it goes really well with something like this or lighter colored shoes uh, doesn't go so well with the more formal look okay but if you feel you want to dress it up wearing dark brogues or burgundy shoes or even navy shoes um, then feel free to do so uh, it would still be a good look um, I'm just showing you some different variations uh, so what happens now I've got a tie that you've seen before which is a ghastly tie it's uh, citrus colors uh, lime orange and yellows um, I use it purely for demonstration purposes but that sort of color scheme can still work with this type of summer suit because it is beige it just and we want to avoid being mr. beige then we need to add some form of color and even if you are restricted in the amount of ties you have um, there are other ways of lifting this look so we'll try that tie on and you let me know what you think about that color and that ensemble <laughs> whilst I don't like wearing this tie because it's normally very challenging because of the colors arrangements in the tie actually it still gives you a pop of color with this blank canvas and uh, so I wouldn't rule out something that you wouldn't ordinarily wear with a normal suit or a normal jacket and tie but with a summer suit and this bland uh, color um, then you can get away with introducing a different form of uh, color into the actual uh, outfit so obviously with this we're talking about adding contrast to the actual jacket and again with this I would suggest you wear something light because the colors in the tie um, and uh, and I think you'll get away with this color scheme in a very informal setting or semi formal setting but if you're going a little bit more informal then we need to really ditch the tie and look at some other way of adding a bit of color to the outfit and so we'll have a look at now what we can do shirt wise 
to actually change the image. So here all we've done is changed the uh, pattern of the shirt. So this is a red and white gingham style uh, shirt, open necked and you still got that contrast between the shirt and the jacket. This equally goes well with just the blue shirt um, or uh, a pink shirt. It just gives that contrast between this and what you're wearing underneath the jacket. Um, picking up a little bit of the reds and the creams in the actual pocket square gives a little bit more detail than just a white handkerchief. And again, because we're looking at um, a more relaxed summer vibe, then you are really looking at light tan shoes or again, some sort of suede introduced into the outfit itself. Uh, I suppose you could, at a push, bring in the, um, the desert boots, the light colored uh, shoes as well. Um, and it would still look uh, a fresh look. So um, obviously wearing a jacket, even though it's unstructured and it's a lot lighter weight than most uh, autumn winter suits, um, it still can be quite warm wearing a suit. So maybe the texture or the materials used in your shirt might need to be changed. For example, this is a cotton shirt, but maybe a linen shirt would be more uh, uh, in keeping with the climate and uh, quite cooling. Um, so what we'll do is we'll try on another shirt um, just to give you a contrast and uh, a discussion point if you like. What would you wear under something uh, like this? You can jot the comments down below and we can uh, have a discussion about what you think you'd wear or why you'd think you'd wear it. Or do you actually wear one of these on a regular basis? Give us some feedback. Um, so we'll try the next shirt on uh, and uh, we'll talk about that now. So now we've changed the uh, shirt for a much more casual uh, cotton stroke linen mix, um, which gives it a lot more informal, albeit striped. We picked up the colour in the pocket square, uh, made it a little bit darker because if it's too muted you end up with that washed out look and we're almost going towards the beige man again. So, but what I would say is because this is a very informal look, this is where you can start introducing suede brogues this colour. Um, they go well um, with this type of informal outfit. Uh, dare I say, even a pair of, uh, of uh, skating sneakers uh, in a very pale colour would go really well with this uh, because of the informality of it. So, uh, yeah. Don't be afraid to introduce some colour though. We don't want to end up being Mr. Beige. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you want to know about notifications, then hit the bell. Uh, we, if you want to subscribe, then please feel free to do so. Um, if you want to make a comment, then please put it down below. Um, we look forward to constructive comments. So if you'd like to leave something down below, about what you thought about the video, or your opinions of what you might wear wearing a summer suit in a formal or informal setting, and uh, your ideas about what colours to, uh, to use to lift up from being Mr. Page. So until next time, take care.